favourite tournaments and was straight in, in like Flynn, there's no messing about today, is the chess.com titled Tuesday event, which is 11 rounds of chess. Not sure I like this board design. Not sure. Not sure I like blue. I've just, yeah, I should have probably worked this out beforehand. Not sure about blue. What do you reckon? Should we change the board colour? Let's win the game first, shall we? But it's a chess.com title Tuesday competition. And, um, hang on, am I winning a piece? No, of course not. Takes, 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 takes. And that's equal material, right? Yes, okay. Uh, it's 11 rounds of three minutes plus two seconds a move. And um, hopefully, hopefully we have a good tournament, right? So this is the first round. And it normally takes me a while to get in the groove, but I'm quite happy to get a Dutch opening. I like the Dutch opening a lot. I know it quite well. And I've got my bishop to a nice diagonal here as well. Uh, David Howe won this tournament last week, which is fantastic. My good friend, David Howe. And uh, I, think, I think we need another winner from England. Yeah, what do you reckon? Another winner from England? Gawain Jones. <laughs> it's an incredibly hard tournament and I'm not as good as the top players by any means but um, I can sometimes play good chess so we'll have a crack uh, Arcadi says I'm drinking some ginger tea in support well I do I do like a, a ginger tea uh, as I'm sure uh, you're well aware I've been experimenting with loads of weird teas recently as I think I said in a previous YouTube thing but I've been getting uh, they're getting weirder and weirder guys <laughs> I was looking for some that give you lucid dreaming which I was trying out um, from like I think they're supposed to have some psychedelic effects as well they are legal I want to say that but uh, I'm a little bit scared to try them too much but anyway uh, I like a good cup of tea trying out lots of different teas uh, <laughs> I think if anyone was going to win that Sports Personality of the Year, that's quite funny. It's David Howe, uh, I just like to say how brilliant he is um, working. When I worked with him on the World Championships, uh, him and Yuvanka, let's not forget about Yuvanka. Yuvanka was fantastic as well, but it was it was brilliant working with both of them. And I just think David Howe, uh, as well as being a brilliant chess player, he's really shone as a... Um, as a commentator as well he's excellent hello marpant hello and hello to everyone else in the chat if i miss your name out i apologize uh, i'm trying to concentrate a little bit on the chess not too much mind you and this position it seems like i should be doing well somehow uh, i feel do i take here my knight's not very good maybe we I want to get my knight there. Okay, so I've got, I've got an idea. So let's see if we can cut the king off. If my opponent takes with the C pawn, I might be able to get my bishop into this square and attack on the C file. If my opponent takes with the E pawn, I have a very nice uh, positional advantage with the past pawn here. Now, for so some reason, I, I'm really looking at playing this crazy move, but... It's a little bit too obscene, isn't it? My opponent's probably going to get counterplay this way. But how, how do we... I don't like my knight. My knight needs to reroute. So let's hold up that move and maybe reroute my knight. My opponent's played a good move there. We're also thinking about rerouting. But now I can maybe get rid of that good knight, which will be a fantastic knight, and start some queenside play. So it looks like I'm a little bit better on on most areas of the board um do i take the knight play it positionally or do i go for the attack this knight is very strong uh, on, on on this square so i think i say i think i'm not 100 percent sure that was the right decision but it is a sound positional uh, decision at least and now i've really got to try play this move so i'm going to try to play this kind of thing but my, my opponent my opponent's very solid here as well so it, it's certainly this is a good move holding up my play and I 
I need to try and eliminate that somehow with knight c7. So rook here and try to get rid of my opponent's very strong queen. And, and my opponent, again, another very good move. My opponent has to start counterplay. Now, I don't really want to weaken my king with these kind of moves. Do we play this one? Okay, it's going to get a bit quicker and faster now. And this might be a good move because the f pawn is is hard to to uh, hard to defend now. Um, G four, I think, is the correct move to play. My opponent can try to get some attack now against my king. And just need to have full concentration here. That is a very nice pawn I have. And I've got to check here, but bishop c2 is very annoying. Could be very careful in this position, actually. Uh, luckily, this one is okay. I was worried about a slower approach, but this is still surprisingly fraught with danger. But my opponent can't get... It's a very crafty move, isn't it? Because a queen here. Okay, we have to go for it. Okay, so he wants to get the queen to this square. Now, like I said, my, my position is certainly fraught with some danger here. So we need to be extremely vigilant. In such a position. I'm gonna go for the pure ending here. And still not very simple, this one. Do I try to hold on to all my pawns? Maybe. One pawn is not a lot in a rook ending. But I do have connectors. And connected pass pawns are pretty handy. Pretty damn handy. When they get to this, this rank, they are far too strong. But this is still incredibly complex to win. One of the hardest endings to win, actually. You would not believe it. But my opponent has blundered the rook and I just had to avoid stalemate there. And we got there in the end. Whew. Never make it easy. <laughs> Never make it easy. My middle name is Simon Never Make It Easy Williams. Oh dear. Whew. Whew. Okay, but I think we were always in charge of that game, right? We were always we were always kind of in charge of that game. We we're always better, but we had to we had to be careful. And my opponent for his for his rating, um, I think he played very well there. Um, so it certainly wasn't an easy game, but it's nice to start with a win. Now let's just have a look at some of the top players who are playing in this. And um, well, you can see that Hikaru is the top seed um, up there and doing Hikaru things. Uh, it's full of impressive names uh david howell in, fir in in first place there but one of the top seeds as well uh, david is going for a two out of two after winning it last time around so um david is i play i played david quite a lot of blitz and it's normally in the pub that's my excuse i've got to get my excuses in first because you probably know what's coming up next right it, it's usually in a pub and uh I usually drink more than him let's be honest so that's my excuse so that's that's why he always beats me it's nothing to do that he's a much better player than me and, and, and no he, he's a really good blitz player he's a much better blitz player than me i don't think i've ever lost to someone 
as much as I've lost to David in blitz and and over the board, e even top grandmasters I've played before, and I, I normally am able to get a couple of good wins in, but uh, David is just so impressive. I'm in first place, equal first at the moment. Uh, that's right. So. Um, my new course and Richard Palliser's course is out, so you've got to do a little bit of publicity to do these free streams. If you want to learn an interesting opening, which I will play today if I get a chance, it's, I think it's very interesting. I'll explain it as it comes up, but it's kind of um, a line against the Sicilian. The British Grand Prix, not sure I totally agree with that title. I'd say the modern Grand Prix. It's quite a weird system, which is a lot slower than some of the other Grand Prix ones, but it's a very easy to learn opening. And I think very effective for a wide range of players. So let's see if we can get it in anyway. So we start with E4, and we can only play this if my opponent plays uh, plays C5 here. That was weird, my move went backwards. Okay, and this is it, Bishop E2. And I've just done a YouTube video this, but stage one is to go this setup which is a reverse dutch a reverse dutch um two tempo up because you have the white pieces and you've already played e4 so stage one is to get this nice setup and not like the other grand prix you put your bishop on e2 and it looks passive there but it gives us the extra opportunity of now playing c3 and against this system c3 is my recommended line and when the knight goes here, we're gonna go for d4. If the knight goes to f6, we play otherwise. And we're trying to squeeze in the center. Now a very common mistake that black plays is to go d5 in a minute. And d5 is not, a, I, I should probably be quiet in case he's listening. And he's played it because as soon as you get this position, you are just clearly better. He's played all his active moves. This pawn structure is what you aim for with this opening. I talk a lot about this, of course, in the course. And I'm kind of better on every part of the board. It's like a bad French defense. So at some point I will be going G3, H4, H3, G4. But I'm also better on the queen side because I have more space and in this area of the board. So it, it's this is kind of stuff that we aim for when playing this. And this bishop has potential to come over here. And he's very cramped. My opponent's bishop is also bad. There's a lot of, a lot of subtle, subtle um, advantages to this. Now I'm going to improve my pieces. I'm maybe going to threaten to do some damage to my opponent's pawns by taking this one here. Uh, I might consider trying to get my knight into some of these weakened squares on this side of the board. He's coming over to reinforce that side. Um, I don't know if I want to swap off that bishop. I'm thinking now about playing on the king side if he goes here i can just win it and i'm actually going to try so i'm pushing that one backwards now this is a very common idea in this opening as well the bishop comes outside the pawn structure like this and this knight now can't move so i feel it needs to come to this square uh, because it's quite nicely positioned here preparing f5 and g4 so i'm gonna maneuver this knight to a better position whilst opening up some important lines over here he's quite tied down his knights are bad his bishops are bad so i've got time to to do a little bit of maneuvering uh, and my idea is to play this and g4 slowly increase my space advantage um, in as many different places as i can Queen there was an idea. He's trying to get rid of this bishop. That seems like a good plan for my opponent. Maybe actually this square is technically better because my knight can come around here. Um, but I feel we should play this first so that I stop his knight having access to the f5 square. And I can maybe play on the h file or on the C file. Feel at the moment we should take keep the king sides under control. Let's just make sure we use the one open file we have available. Now this is not 
a big advantage. My opponent played this very clever idea of getting rid of his bishop. I maybe should be moving my bishop back to b1, keeping that piece if I can. Okay, I can't take the knight because this pawn drops, so I have to take with the queen here. He can't play rook c8. He loses a piece to, to this one. And that loses a pawn. Is it a safe pawn to take? Does he get counterplay? I don't think so. Because I'm covering all of his entrance squares. And my king and knight do a very good job. And his pieces are very bad over on this area of the board. Um, but... But, 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 I mean, I'm having some doubts now because this pawn is a little bit weak here. Um, so, for example, queen a7 is coming. I'm just thinking how we deal with that. And I don't want to allow his queen in on the file. So I'm going to have to come back first before I go forwards. I like putting my king on g3 so that my knight on f2 can move because then he can't do this. So I just got to stop his queen coming in. So I'm I'm thinking even of putting my queen on this very strange square, one of these two squares to, to defend everything. Putting my king on g3 because his knight then can't move. I, I don't want to allow that one in. So this is, I think, where I want to go. And when I put my king on g3, my knight here can move. Now he's coming into the position. He's playing quite annoying moves. I have to, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what, that's what chess players tend to do, isn't it? And my, he's only attacking with his queen, though. Okay, but I've, I've allowed this tactic. This is bloody stupid, actually. But can, am I safe here? His queen can't come in. I think my knights defend everything. And I want to play a4. I'm just, I'm just really being very aware again of stopping these two pieces getting in if i stop those two pieces getting in there's no counterplay now he has this check but i got knight takes so everything seems to be stopped so far i've got to just make sure these guys don't get in if they don't get in he can't do anything and you can see my plan queen a pawn Okay, so he's not doing anything with that knight so far. And he still can't get in anywhere. And okay, well, it, this is now very easy, I, I, I would have thought. Um, because I'm a pawn up and simplifications must help. I need to obviously tread with some care here. And I'm just... Uh, now yeah that pawn is too strong so i think i think this is quite a smooth smooth game i mean okay you can you can play on if you want to but you're very much down on time with a completely losing position so your 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 chances i feel are rather limited in this situation um okay there we go so uh, i think that was an all right game I know I'm not playing the highest rated players, but it's more about it's more about maybe keeping control of um, of of the game, and I think that was a very good demonstration of uh, the opening there and the potential of this opening. Um, you could clearly see I got a very nice position after playing some very simple moves. It's not bang 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 like other openings I play, but you do get some very interesting attacking uh, positions as well. Uh, if, if you know in, in a lot of situations so um, that is the latest course me and Richard Palliser Richard Palliser created most of the course but I played this opening myself on and off for a long time I've made the videos for it so if you want to get my 10 hour plus video explanation the link should be in the chat I'll just give you that obviously uh, you know any any time you buy something of mine it helps me do more free things and I've got to push things, right? Because it's how I make my living by selling my chess courses. If I don't sell my chess courses, you know, uh, you really don't you don't really don't get a great deal for for Twitch as much as I enjoy sharing my love of the game. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I try to keep up with the chat when I can. Uh, Pizza Racer saying I'm getting old. 
Yeah, I feel it sometimes, pizza racer. I feel it, I feel it. Um, you know, we've got to play a little bit of positional style now and again, now and again in our lives, I feel. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, if, if you are a grandmaster, you, you should be able to play um, every style of chess, right? Uh, and, and positional chess is part of that. I just, I just often play and prefer tactical chess because it's quite crazy. But uh, we gotta, we gotta play a little bit of positionally now and again. Um, we are getting older each year. We, 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 we sure are. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? Uh, the older I get, the wiser I become. I wish. I wish. <laughs> so let's have a look at the scores at the top, and we can see Mr. David Howe, the um, legend from, from I was going to say Brighton, but he lives just down the road from Brighton. The legend from Brighton um, is, is it, well, up there on two points. We're also on two. But obviously the games are going to get a lot harder now. And the problem is a lot a lot of it's psychological, I feel. You've got to keep your call. Keeping your call is not easy. This young English player is a great blitz player. Nearly 2,900. Um, am I? I hope I'm not on the analysis board, am I? Don't say that. Don't scare me, um, Dax Neo Burn. Don't scare me. I'm not. I'm not analysing my games at the moment. As you may, as you may have noticed in the past, I I, I often analyse my games. Then all of a sudden, I don't realise that I've lost a couple of minutes on my clock because okay, this is it. Okay, we're playing the the Hess. The one and only Robert Hess. There's no chess without Hess. Uh, and Robert is, well, if there was a legend in the dictionary, you would see a picture of Hess, right? And we're going to try to harry up Hessy boy. Um, and why the hell not? Should we go F4 here and play super aggressive? Let's do it. Okay, now he's playing some tricky stuff against me. And I don't know this one. I'm assuming this is some kind of weird theory. Um, let's see. I don't know this opening. I don't like getting in to positions I don't know so well. But I'm just going to grab the pawn and say, what the hell? Let's get a Hess lesson, shall we? My idea of playing f4, well, it's a little bit over the top. But I wanted to play h4 and if g5 take him. So I'm trying to play well this ain't a positional game let's put it that way I'm trying to play in this game very sharply against his what should we say his kind of standoffish opening but of course if the Queens come off it, it, it will become more positional and he can get some exchange of Queens here and I don't know what this position is going to be like because I have the dark squares and the dark squares, my king is quite nice here. My dark square, I have a dark square bishop. Hess doesn't have a dark square bishop. So this is this is where I'm uh, trying, well, this is where I'm going to try to work work my game in, in such a position. Uh, king here, is this a worry? No, I can go king f2. And s standard moves like this, maybe c4 and e5. I want to play c4 first because I take away the d5 square. If I do play e5 in the position, is he gonna try and play this or, or knight c5? Um, well, knight c5, I don't know. I mean, do, am I play, how quickly am I playing this one? Bishop here, knight here, it's a nice square for his piece. Just king e2, knight here, e5. and control so this is where I always get a little bit freaked out it's stupid to, or do I just play this one and try to play e5 shortly ah uh, this is weird I, I'm losing already the plot of what I'm doing I mean this is not okay I'm going to play this I'm going to play this I think it's alright I don't mind this knight coming here and I don't really want him playing e5. I want to kick him about. If his knight comes here, I go here. If his knight comes to g4, I can cover 
with this one. I don't need to be scared. So let, let's let's take some space advantage. Okay, so we need to stop these these things from occurring. And now a sensible move would be something along the lines of this. Maybe Bishop A3 to, to force his knight to make a decision here. Um, Bishop E3 is not stupid, but it allows him to swap his knight off. Thank you for all subscriptions. I've got to make sure I don't get short of time. Hess is much better at me in shorter time limits and, and probably just in normal time limits, probably in all time limits. <laughs> Hess is just better than me. Is that is that is that what I'm trying to say? Well, yeah, probably. But I mean, uh, he's a good player, right? So I think we want to. I'm going to play very simply, uh, and I'm going to offer this exchange of bishops because his knight is actually looking quite strong. So I want to, uh, I want to just keep it simple. Which he doesn't want here. So we'll come back. But this knight, his knights are his knights are mischievous here. I'm hoping that f5 is something in this in this position. Maybe c4 first, f5 squeeze squeezes bishop somewhat. Okay, I think we we should. And then he comes here. This pawn is on. This pawn is funny. So I'm getting too slow here. What about this weird move? Trying to trying to play this. So I'm just gonna have to play quicker now. This is this is far too slow. I just want to release this rook without losing my pawn in the position. I kind of want to play this, but then knight b6 is, is, is concerning me. So maybe I play here first. Try to... Play like so but I've really why did I do that For fuck's sake Williams so this is the kind of nonsense that I do at a good position and just fall into the trick oh Simon oh that was really depressing actually <laughs> I thought I was playing well but as soon as my time gets a little bit low guys it, it really I can't do it I can't handle the pressure can't handle the pressure so uh Jesus, what am I doing with this pawn? What am I doing? Why did I do that? My God, what am I doing, man? Oh, my words. Can you just believe what I did there? It's bloody horribly depressing watching me play sometimes. Oh no. If I just kept my call cool there, 
I even had him at the end. I mean, oh dear, Simon. Oh dear. Oh God. And he's got me. Oh, that was a travesty. That was an absolute travesty. I started, see, freaking out at the end there. Let's just, how easy was this winning? I just shouldn't let his pawns go. So, oh my God. For example, just take the pawn. That was horrible. And I had 11 seconds. Oh no. If I just take the pawn, I put my rook on the wrong way. It was around here. I'm starting thinking, what, what am I actually doing? After he pushes here. And it suddenly gets a little bit, a little bit tricky there. That's that that game's enough to retire for the day. <laughs> oh, and actually here suddenly with, with I'm no good when I get under 20 seconds. This is my problem. And actually here it's not so easy because this pawn is very strong. And I suddenly realised this, but I should just play. Nor how did I? I never lose a game like that against anyone if I just kept my court. I mean, for example, here this is madness. King c5. Anything at all ah oh, okay well we keep fighting but that's put me on a bit of a downer there yeah sad 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 is the right word because that should have been one way traffic but well done i mean uh earlier on i don't know i mean i was doing okay but i felt that little trick which annoyed me as well and i think around here it's finding the right move a3 didn't look right um maybe i should just just play why don't I just play I don't need to play a3 so all, all, all loss of tempo is so important and if I just play rook b1 here I don't need to play this move he's never going to take it because just come back so I started to get a little bit psyched out around around this this point so we'll see what we can do which we're, we're, we're trying we're trying to we're trying to get back into it after that depressing loss but it's gonna be hard to bounce back from that um and later on, well, my position was bad, and I can't, you know, like I say, I'm, when I get short time, it, it, it not really, it's not really, um, how do we, how do we refresh? When I get short time, I, 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 I'm so slow with a mouse. Um, but Robert played well there at the end to keep any chances alive, but it was so easily winning. And okay, here it was quite a nasty shot because I suddenly realised my bishop's trapped so okay but anyway let, let's see if we can let's see if we can win the next couple of games to get back in the mix anyway um and we will try to play some sensible stuff here so we got a normal dutch on the board let's get a little castles in and i've got to stop thinking about the last game move on move on and this is this is like one one opening I know extremely well. It's worse to lose from a one position than a lost position, I think. But I mean that game I, I was clearly worse in the middle game, and it was just a bit short time. But I think one of the worst things in chess is like losing losing when you're you you've got a very nice position and you throw it away because you you can only obviously in chess you can only blame yourself, but clearly uh, it's your own fault and if you get outplayed in a game it's kind of kind of like more understandable because if you get outplayed in a game it's like okay I, I, I got outplayed my opponent played better than me um, you know <laughs> what to do right okay anyway back to this game so I'm gonna play this move and just try to kill the bishop and go back to playing a bit positional but I think the one thing I learned from uh, the Hess game is I can't play short time so I've got to try to avoid getting under one minute I just uh, I'm, I'm basically a disabled blitz player I really can't do it <laughs> um, I could blame it on many things but I think really it's just because I am I can't move that bloody mouse quick enough no excuses apart from that right okay do we swap everything off and try to play this ending looks fairly even he's probably going to play f3 and try to break which is a bit annoying uh do we develop our piece like this first let's do this and just see i, do, I get this ending quite a lot uh when i'm playing and um 
it looks like a, a decent way to develop i'm threatening now to maybe put a rook on d8 i'm wondering how scared of knight b5 i am but i, I think it's quite easy to defend this pawn and structurally i'm doing well that's why f3 is the only move that kind of scares me at some point because if he opens up things he could get an advantage so he's trying to make some exchanges do i need to take that bishop first no i think we do it this way and now f3 would be a little bit annoying if he plays that move these kind of endings if i get the queens off black's better because his pawns over here are incredibly weak in the ending and, and i can target them with like a4 and it's funny how weak uh, those pawns become so he's got to avoid that i mean i think against f3 i'm okay because I can try to hold that pawn there somehow. Or I can check and try to put the pawn on e3. So it's okay. Now that move, I'm very, very happy to see that move. Because any ending that occurs, this pawn on b3 is just... In, I mean, imagine my king just coming in. This is actually... It stops my a4 move. But that b3 pawn is horrendously weak. I put the queen here because I'm trying to stop him moving f2. And my next stage will be to try and get my rook back centralized and, and make some exchanges. I want, I'd love to get the queens off because then my king can start coming towards. And if he can't play f3, his bishop is dead. So it's, a, it's certainly a little advantage to me. Yeah, we've got to do a David Howe after that one. Okay, so the queens come off. Very happy to see that. Whoosh! I whip them off immediately. Now he's going to get f3 in. Okay, but I'm going to now bring my king to this square and if he plays f3 I, I swap and I play c6 I blunt his bishop and it's just his pawn structure that it, it is kind of painful uh, and I'm up on time thank goodness gotta be a, if he goes pawn takes actually gotta be a little bit careful about the e-file it's amazing I've got to be up on time this is something I've realized I've got to stay up on time <laughs> when I get to 20 seconds I've got the I've got the hand movements of an 80 year old, <laughs> an 80 year old who's had 20 bottles of whiskey. Um, so okay, right now it's not as easy as I thought this, but let's exchange one pair of rooks off. If all the rooks come off, I don't know is is this winning? I, I, no, maybe not because his king comes here. Oh, I'm still a bit on tilt. Still a bit on tilt. This is not the way I should play this ending not the way i should do this at all okay but check here can he defend that pawn no, no this is not what i should be doing i could play this but i'm not going to win that position this is really bad play for me again um and i should not have just swapped off so easily there okay i have to keep playing obviously and I don't see how I'm going to win this one. Um, he's got check and king c3, which leaves me actually somewhat worse in the ending. Okay, I'm glad he took that way. That might give me a glimmer. Now, does this work? It's just going to be a draw otherwise this king comes in and I'm, I'm actually really struggling i don't know if this is just okay he can't bring his king in what am i talking about so take there played this very badly got to be careful here as well King in, king in. Can I zigzag in here? Otherwise, it's a draw. Here, here. H6, G4. H5 takes, takes. Here he wins. Takes, takes. H5 takes, takes. F5. Well, I might lose this one, but I think we've got to try it. say that and I'm just like why did I do this as well 
because at f5 and I'm only just seeing this move which is a killer should have just taken the draw there this is collapsing around me and oh there's nothing I can do there oh dear one loss and it goes down yeah I mean let's have a look at that one uh, I'm tempted to just go and get a beer now this happens to me be a bad sport we'll have a look at this um everyone gets annoyed by their losses but that one was maybe even more painful uh let's have a look then so i was doing very well but really messed that up and i'll just but i am interested to see can you see that i mean let me just show you so we're on 50 percent here wah, wah, wah. and let's have a look so Everything was going well. I mean, the computer doesn't realize. Start review. Just let me look at the bloody game, will you? Okay. No, I don't want this stuff. It's all changed. How do we do this? Okay. So, uh, this position, the computer doesn't realize maybe how bad it is for him, but I am winning here. Wow so what did i do wrong i didn't have enough time to work this out here hit yeah okay so i i'm in it let me go back so i should save a tempo i played g6 of course i should do that because i am hang on a minute let me just work this out so king here king here and then how do we win there we've got them oh we just go we just go h5 oh it's very easy it's very easy so of course i just go this is really simple how did i not see this we go here go here and we play h5 oh so easy when you see and then he runs out of runs out of moves here with g4 i take and after this one i just play here so that was pathetic and the way i played it here okay i thought this was still a draw i don't know why it's saying that white's winning why is it saying white's winning? I thought if I play C king c6, I might end up losing. But, 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 um, but, 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 I don't know. And But if I play, isn't this just a draw if I just play here? What, what how's it saying that it wins? I, we just, as soon as he comes here, I come here. What am I missing here? So, I don't understand chess anymore don't fucking understand chess anymore the computer says this is winning after here let's say i go here king d4 and then this one is winning and this is similar to what we had oh it's bloody hard chess right and then i run out of time again so give me a beer <laughs> i'm trying i'm, I'm having a little time off drinking at the moment so i'm not going to get a beer I'm just gonna shoot some no but no of course i'm not gonna do anything like that no <laughs> i'm I'm so, so depressing two losses like that ah <sighs> oh, we we keep playing but if we lose another game this 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 screen is going out the window it's going flying it's going flying flying across the street and just to make it even worse they have uh, they have a break now so i can just sit here think about my life and think about my last two games in great detail hmm such great games um <laughs> oh man oh dear it started so well and you, you, the funny thing is you know when you think well you know when you are actually playing pretty uh, pretty good moves and pretty good chess you're like oh yeah i'm playing all right but still you just freak out and lose it's a cruel cruel it's a cruel mistress is is chess yeah cruel mistress oh dear anyway how are you doing in the chat anyone want to cheer me up i'm not doing dry january by the way i'm just doing dry tuesday <laughs> i'm doing dry dry in the week at least monday and tuesday I'm doing dry january uh, no, I'm not doing dry January because I will literally end up killing someone with all this chess I'm doing. Dry hour. Okay, anyway, hello Blair. Oh God, as soon as you come along and start losing, it's all your fault Blair. It's not my fault for playing crap. Hello Blair. 
Um, hello, Catherine. How you doing, Catherine? You doing all right? Are you, are you streaming today? I hope you're doing. I hope you're doing well, Catherine. Good to see you. I hope Norway is treating you fantastically. Um, you're watching some class chess at the moment here. Um, I don't know when I'm coming back to Norway. Um, to be honest, I'm hoping I'll be back a lot for when the Champions Tour is starting again. So the Champions Tour, I think the next date is February. Is that right? So I'm hoping I, I get more work on the Champions Tour. So fingers crossed. I'm sure I'll be over there uh, for the Champions Tour. I'm doing all right. Thank you. Not streaming. You're not streaming today. Too tired. OK. Well, next time I owe you a raid or two. So we we'll definitely do that. I hope you're doing OK. And I love Oslo. Great place. Justin Doe saying you've got this. I don't know what I've got, but on 50% after those four games, no chance. But yeah, I'll be over soon anyway, Catherine. You rest up. Good to hear from you. Um, now, let's see who else is in the chat. I mean, da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah. How's David doing at the moment? Let's have a look. Let's see how he's getting on in the chest, shall we? Oh, is the next game the next, has the next game even started? That'd be that'd be great if the next game started. It'd give me a great, it would it'd give me a great chance to withdraw. Um, let's have a look at the scores at the top. Where is Mr. Howell? When are we going to get David streaming as well? When are we going to get him streaming? I will play, like I say, until I lose another game, and then I'm going to make a decision. There's a good chance I might be rage rage quitting this one. I'm just feeling sick of my own play but anyway we do have to push david to start him streaming that is correct he'd be a great streamer where is he where is he is he still playing let's have a look no he can't be playing because it's been ages let's have a look at the players anyone see shout he's obviously not doing great if he's lost the game because he should be on maximum i mean if it makes him feel any better tell him to come and look at my stream because uh, you know, you can't get more annoyed than me at the moment. Bloody Hess, I should have had you. I should have had you, Hess. Um, going down. Still can't see David. Where is he? Where is he? Yeah, I mean, his result winning title Tuesday last week was just amazing. So it's such a hard tournament to get in the top 10 in, right? Because you've got all of these great players. Look, you've got like Jeffrey Jong who's winning one of the who's one of the best players in the world and he's like in 108th place so winning this competition is is so impressive but david is a class act and i'm still scrolling down he must have lost the game then right so he must be on three three points gwen jones on two and a half and we're gonna have to um scroll down even more to find me when is the Ajumata Arena? I did play. I have to say, I did play the Ajumata Arena, the first bit, until it got, until it got stuck. But as as you might see, I'm so slow. Two minute chess is very hard, and I thought I'd try Title Tuesday because I haven't done it for a while. But I guess the Ajumata Arena is starting starting soon as well, which is a great event. But I like Title Tuesday, and, and one day, one day, we're going to be victorious, like. Mr. David Howell. Um, how do we search him? Okay, anyway, we're in with another game. And let's see if we can get at least more of this opening in. Let's get a little bit of this in. That is an impressive move, isn't it? Yo-yo move. We're playing, okay, King's Gambit time. Let, let's, let's let out the thing. Da, 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 da. When's it, when is the Ajumat Arena, uh, Blair, is it? Is it, um? Is it in a couple of minutes or probably in a couple of minutes? I guess I guess Hikaru is playing that because he's leading it. And first, it's quite funny. Ten minutes, okay. It's quite funny because when they um, when they first advertised the the arena, first prize was like what fifty thousand, but now it's like thirty thousand, right? And and that is basically because the price of Bitcoin has has plummeted, plummeted. It's lost. Is it lost six thousand pounds? I thought it lost more than that. I should probably know these things. Okay, what are we doing here in the King's Gambit? Do we dare go here, or do we? I think not. 
because f3 scares me should we put a piece in or should we play d3 i'm so indecisive today i'm going to develop a piece that can't be a mistake that can't be a mistake i'm going to castle that can't be a mistake just play moves we don't blunder stay up on the clock use your noggin anyone heard the expression noggin before did i just make that word up did i just make that up maybe i did make that up um noggin means brain i believe i don't know maybe not i could have just made that up and um work some stuff out okay got to calculate a little bit uh da, 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 here and he takes she sorry she takes everything takes 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 looks very equal if i move my bishop here or do i okay let's go this way shall we let's go this way noggin the nog is noggin a word it is a word isn't it i'm sure noggin is a word let's go back there because i don't like the idea of getting hit by a check do not be a funny somebody. Yeah, are you feeling okay, Anchbo? Uh I was off my noggin on Saturday. That is an expression, of course it is. Of course it's an expression. Okay, so now I'm getting a bit happier on this King's Gambit. The one thing about the King's Gambit is that if you can win your pawn back, I'm actually a pawn up now, You've always got a nice position because you've got more central pawns. Well, not always. Not always, but sometimes. Sometimes better than nothing. <laughs> um, I'm going to go here. And maybe my opponent can win a pawn by swapping everything and then going check and taking here. But bishop e5 attacks the queen, attacks the knight. It's probably very strong for me. Um, remember not to think too long. I think I'm a lot better when I don't think. Thinking destroys my mind. Thinking is not is not healthy for me. Uh, that's not true. But I tell you what, one thing I'm really looking forward to doing, I'm looking forward to playing long chess over the board. I can't wait to play some proper chess over the board. Okay, is she going to go for this one? I feel she might. So let's give her a cheeky pin shall we or do we do a cheeky a cheeky checkmate fret so of course when someone says don't think too long i start thinking i'm doing a david howe this one attracts me this one attracts me okay i don't know what to do anymore i'm losing the the, the will let's go here let's just in case little cheeky little cheeky little cheeky idea Thinking is not healthy for me. No, no, thinking isn't. You've got to go with your flow. You've got to feel, you've got to feel the vibe and just go with it. Let your subconscious do the hard work. Don't go with a conscious memory because the conscious memory is just trying to mess with you. Go with a subconscious, just play. You know, don't even think what you're saying, just speak. Unfortunately, far, far too many people do that in life and you know, I don't fully agree but you can get that you know just let the subconscious flow 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 so the subconscious is telling me to reroute the knights the subconscious is telling me just to not lose that knight thank you subconscious you are my friend my and okay let's move quickly now no messing about now let's just move come on Bum, 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 bum. I think I'm a pawn up. Um, I'm not. Counting has never been my strong point. Um, before you say anything, I'm still trying to find my strong point. But I think I'm a pawn up. And we have a nice little structure. I'm going to squeeze. Maybe not like that just just like no i don't know let's don't do any hand movements squeeze squeeze the position like oh, that's more like it and i'm just going to try to maneuver my pawns 
into positions, positions, position, where my opponent doesn't have many breaks. So first of all, that rook does a nice job of controlling some things. How am I going to break through? Don't ask me tricky questions like that. Do we go here now? We've got to break through. We've got to break through at some point. So let's try this one. And we have a little target. Um, which we will probe. We will probe that little target there. But how am I going to win this one? One is wondering. By continuing the probe. This one. Stop those rooks from moving. How do we do this? Up we come. Okay, don't lose on time, Simon. You're going to lose on time if you continue this foolishness. Do not continue this foolishness. You have to move because chess is about moving. And please move those pieces. And move them good. Move them real good. Bow, 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 bow. Move real good. Move them real good. We've won a game. That's what it feels like. It feels better than losing, actually. Funny, isn't it? That's what that's what it's like. Oh, smooth. Smooth. Uh, oh dear. I'm. Am I going to Amsterdam for, for Fiona's meetup? Um, she hasn't mentioned it to me, so um, I was planning to go and see Fiona in Amsterdam at some point, and um, I have a friend who's just moved there as well, so I'll definitely be going over there. Um, when is Fiona's meetup? Uh, I, who knows? But yeah, I mean, uh, I do, I do enjoy. Do enjoy a bit of Amsterdam. Who doesn't? Uh, and it's good for me because I don't really like flying, and it's it's a train journey away. You know, you can actually get a train from England all the way to Amsterdam, which is really nice. Just sit on the train, a little bit of champagne. You know, that's the way to travel, isn't it? Flying, I don't like flying. Don't like it. Um show us some good technique well I, the thing is I'm, I'm playing when i play positionally and i don't get too short of time life is good right so i think i need to give up on the idea of checkmate the idea of checkmate is is um it's not something it's something i used to enjoy but it's something i'm kind of going off i think we want to go for end game end game nibbles little nibbles Pawn structure, hole in the position, pass pawn, active king. We're going nibbly today. Checkmate is really overrated. Um, oh, she mentioned it yesterday. Yeah, it's, it was. I think it was her birthday yesterday. Fiona's birthday. I hope so, because that's. I said happy birthday yesterday. I've got some great pictures actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see these. Am I drinking orange juice? I'm drinking orange squash. Cheers. The healthy life. Um, funnily enough, I'm I'm going um, well. I'm going up to London on uh, what, Friday, and we're going to which should be very interesting. Oh, look at these pictures. These are pictures. I don't know if you can see these. This is from a, an event in London. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I'll try to make it to Fiona's uh, thing at some point. Anyway, I'll definitely get over to Amsterdam whenever whenever she at some point when she does it um what was i rambling on about i can't even remember what i was talking about now what was i talking about uh i don't even know what i was talking about no it's not it's actually or okay yeah on monday or that friday that was it i'm going to an absinthe bar so that should be quite interesting and we're gonna have some absinthe absinthe cocktails uh, so that'd be really interesting uh do i still play the black line I, I play like every opening now and again but i go through stages of playing one opening 
Uh, I'll play it now if you want. Do you want me to play it now? Do you want me to play the black line now? Shall we? Shall I make myself raw? Raw. Raw. Uh, uh, why not? Okay, so the black line. You basically do stage one is this. Stage two is this. Stage three is this. This little move here. And then stage four is this bad boy. Stage five is bring... Oh, he's played this move. It's not very good against d4. Can we do a Dutch? Do you mind? You only really do it against... You only. I, I'm doing quite well with a Dutch. I'm getting good positions. If I win this, I'm also... What am I on? Four out of six. That's not too shabby. That is a respectable score. From a respectable person. Okay, we want to stop him playing e4. So we're going, we're going to throw this knight in the middle of the board. Uh, and then work out what to do next. Uh, maybe maybe my opponent, can he take it and go knight here? I was hoping he wouldn't do that. Because this is a little bit scary. Um, but maybe we can do a swinger. And then this kind of stuff. So... It's a bit of a weird position to calculate. Let's let's go let's go a little bit gung ho, shall we? And place that one over there to stop this one coming there. And I wanna that would be a great move if I could do that. The bong cloud superior. And he's trying to get the queens off, but as you know, we are Mr. Nibble. And what does Mr. Nibble like? Nibble nibble nibble. Queen's off. Yay! I can't get checkmated. Remember, I hate checkmate. Checkmate. Don't give me an ear then. <sighs> Bloody checkmates. Okay, so uh, if I go here, he's going to come back to this square. But I like pushing my opponent's pieces back. Nibble, nibble, nibble. And he's trying to go here and nibble this one. So we need to guard this one. I don't really want to play pawn here. So it gets in the way of the bishop. Nibble, nibble, nibble. We're trying to nibble that one. He's spotting all my nibbles. He's, he's, he's not falling for any nibble that I try. Mr. Anti-Nibble. Um, what am I doing now? What am I doing in this position? Quite like my bishop. Life ain't bad. Should we castle? And I think I'm going to try and attack f2. Shall we? Okay, can we not do that now? Let's see. I see an idea, I play an idea. And we're trying to nibble, nibble, nabble, grabble, yummel, um, munch, capture, take, destroy. In, infil, infiltrate, knock off the board, knock over, dabble, dibble. I'm running out of words. Gribble, is that a word? Grabble. There we go. In we go. Oof, okay, we want a pawn. Don't you like Bitcoin? Says Chess Drinker. Well, I do actually. I'm quite interested in Bitcoin and stuff like that, but. I have to say that tournament with the Bitcoin is far too strong for me. We, 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 and it's it's too quick. I'm an old man, and I like I I like old, I like old men time limits. This to me is a much more up my street. Grabble, I think we said grabble. NFTs. Now I'm not sure about NFTs, Podge Kelly, Keely. They're probably, they're probably really really like. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. NFTs. I, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. Okay. Grabble. Gribble. Grabble. We're grabble. Gribble that one. Check. If he captures, I'll take their check. Nibble. Nabble. Grabble. Gobble. Oh, yes, my friends. That is a lovely little grind because we don't like checkmate. We play for little, little nibbles what's going on today okay what are we on now i think we're on we're on kind of a respectable score and i can't even withdraw now 
It's getting like I'm getting I'm I'm back in imagine if I'd done alright in those other two games, yeah. Well, hindsight is a beautiful thing in life, right? I mean we're we're going for nine points out of eleven. I don't think that's gonna be enough to win it, but I don't I'm I i do not think I've ever got a top ten finish, so if I get a top ten finish, that that is party time. Party time. Um anyone new in the chat? Sledgehammer. Hello, Sledgehammer. Norfolk and Good. Grabble. Grapple? Grapple. Was that grapple? Can't pronounce things. Um You did do alright. Yeah, I just had those two horrendous games, but apart from that, everything else is okie dokie. Hello, Harry into space. Did you take that name from this idea I had a couple of years ago? I still want to do this idea. You can bait have you seen this where you can get a, a weather balloon and you can send it. They say send it into space. Um I don't think it actually goes into space, but it goes bloody high. It goes into the stratosphere or some something like that. And I wanted and, and I wanted to send a balloon into like Kingdom Come with a camera on it, a couple of cameras, and Harry the H pawn just there as a brave soldier in the middle of the galactic abyss and i wanted to film his journey harry we get we get him dressed up you know we get him like in his little astronaut helmet and all that crap uh, and i wanted to send him to space and record it maybe with a little g chess or ginger gm logo and um and do that do you reckon we, we should start a gofundme page because as you may be aware, Ginger GM is basically being taken over, brought by um, Play Magnus, and I still like run it and stuff, but I have to be a bit more careful now with my crazy ideas. <laughs> and um, um, I don't know if they'd want to fund it, but it would be bloody cool, wouldn't it, to send Harry into space. The other thing I would like to do is to run another party. Um, Oh man, the crypt party. We we had okay. Let me just see if I can find this. Okay, we've done two of these chess parties, and they were the, the funnest parties ever. My, my, I have to. I'm just going to give you a YouTube link here, and I have to say my language in this video. I think it's from about three years ago. If you're of the um, fragile manner. Um, or you're not you don't like swearing this the, the language in this video is filthy um, and I was quite wasted and all over the shop because it was a party but that was the crit party and we're actually trying to arrange we're going to try arrange another party like this in London so we can make that a meet up with David Howell actually won it the first time we did it and we actually put you know a thousand pounds first prize Fiona was there do you like Fiona? Does the Pope have a balcony? Yes, they do, don't they? Quite a nice one as well. Quite a grand balcony. Um, so uh, yeah, we have to arrange a, a party in London, and we're looking at we're looking at trying to do that now. But it's quite a lot of organisation, and it costs quite a lot of money. So um, to to get like furniture equipment we even had a dj last time but it was below a church so we have to be a little bit careful so maybe maybe we can try maybe we can try it's a good idea why can't we get another game in come on there's still games going on all right let's let's see the lead let's have a look at the tournament scores on the doors and see what's going on and um i don't even know who this is groovy kettle from Netherlands, Robbie Kell Ishvili. I have to say, I I don't think. Okay, you can't see what I'm seeing, but I have to say, I don't know that player too well. Christopher Yu is a very strong player from America, not from what kind of country? I've I've never heard of that country. Sawal Tom and Principal is that is that like a French island maybe that they captured possibly. Um, mm, um, Santo Blue. Um, oh, there's so many strong players. I guess David is now playing the crypto thing, probably. Um, 
that is Jabava five out of six so we're on four so we're still in with a we're still in with a shout of doing okay if we get a run of wins together so how many players there's like 500 players originally people have pulled out like I was going to and we're in you know we're in the top 100 so it's not absolutely disgusting it's an African island, says Kangaroo. I'm getting I'm getting some information here. So this play, it, it kind of, oh, he's at the top now. How did, how did that happen? I wonder. So it's an African island, but I was wondering if it was, um, you know, it, oh, hang it, the game started. Okay. If, if it was run by, you know, an ex-French colony or something, because the French have a fair few colonies, don't they, in Ireland? Okay, we're going to play the hillbilly because we are crazy and he did he's played the hillbilly declined and this is all right i like this position because it i love this pawn structure and his knight is misplaced um so generally this is something i'm happy to see um and i'm going to try and play on both sides of the board as i often enjoy doing this guy's quite quick, so let's not get short of time. <coughs> Got to work out how I'm going to get these guys into the game. Okay, he's come backwards. Intriguing. Now, this is quite a standard manoeuvre in this type of position, but now he's allowed me the c5 square. We might as well go in like our good friend... Errol Flynn. Now I want to get my queen over to g4 and check mate him. Sounds like an idea. He's going to come in and do this. So I'm just going to move this knight out of the way, but I had to defend this pawn first. And I'm going to take with the pawn. And I very much like my position here. Now, do we fly in with the queen straight away or not? He's playing very quick, but I'm, I don't think his moves are, well, they're not scary. Let's put it that way. Okay, let's bring the queen to this square because the only way you can break out is by playing f5. But if I keep control of this pawn, he's not going to manage to do that. Look at that bishop. That bishop, yeah, you can laugh at that bishop because it's bloody laughable and now maybe we increase the pressure over here bringing these guys around i'm actually trying to checkmate but I'm, I'm it's a nibble checkmate all right it's it's a slow nibble 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 checkmate and okay let's just improve that one get it off that one and attack a pawn nibble 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 and oh yes please Hurry, hurry. No, oh, I got a little bit carried away there. A little bit carried away. Okay, we don't want to lose that pawn. That'd be rather foolish. And we want to control the position and checkmate. Correct, correct, Mr. Williams. So that is what we're trying to achieve here. And it's a very nice position this one but as you're aware i'm the master of flaffing up nice positions i mean if anyone can flaff a nice position it is me but my position is surely getting better here i mean this could be even better than my Hess position. I mean, this is like, if I could marry a position, this would be pretty, this would be quite close. You know, this, this would be up there. This would be up there with the best of them. He's, he's lashing out. He wants to break free. He... And he's got a little tic-tac, this one. But I don't believe you, sir. I don't believe you. 
okay let's just calculate takes now don't do something completely stupid should we just take it we're a piece up and we can still lose this knowing me I mean if I lose this position it will be absolutely shocking he hasn't even got a check has he but knowing me I can knowing me knowing you uh-huh let's let's try to nibble but we don't go for checkmates remember we don't like check am I am I no I'm okay I'm seeing ghosts in the position I'm seeing ghosts and this is an idea and you know what's another idea this one I love it I love it when a plan comes together nibble nibble nabble nabble gabble gabble check 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 mate smooth smooth as my silk pillow that I sleep on at night after a nice wash uh, well that was all right wasn't it I think I I think I got a very nice position there um, and it, this tournament's not allowing me to withdraw is it <laughs> and have some dinner I've got to, I've got to now just win every game what can I do what can I do Rodney and um, I think we can I mean my position was absolutely fantastic so this I think this this is quite a nice position anyway because it's like a French defense but with one important issue for my opponent the knight on d7 is very unhappy this knight's attacking here you can pressurize here but this knight has no future for me it has no future and um as the game developed it seemed like I I mean b5 was very risky because every pawn move gives away a square and, and this is a very big square for my for my piece here and this is a fantastic position and I've just got to think of a way to get my queen in and in these structures where you have a pawn on e5 the traditional way of doing that is to bring it to g4 because it causes a lot of problems on the g6 square so i was trying to think of a way to do that and my the way my brain was working is i've got to get my knight out of the way but there's no good way to put it and if i go knight here and queen there well maybe i could but let's develop my last piece first and then we continued with this plan pawn takes i was actually quite happy about because i get the open file and when you've got control of a position like this it's extremely important and this is this is really key to look at any breaks that your opponent is going to try to play to um, to get out of get out of jail um, and the only break that my opponent has and you should be looking at pawn breaks is this one because there's not really anything else my opponent can do if a5 well I dealt with that but if my opponent goes here and gets rid of this pawn then it's a bit dodgy so this is why Queen g4 was probably a good move to make sure that if that pawn moves I keep up the pressure against e6 and really here it's just a matter of improving my pieces slowly stopping any counterplay and increasing the pressure and I think my opponent really is positionally lost here at least because uh, uh, the pressure against these squares is great I have many ways to improve as we saw um, what else does my opponent do uh, this bishop is this bishop is like that is like I mean I've seen some worse bishops but that is one piece of like rotting lead wood lead wood yeah that bishop is that bishop is Dodge City and um, as we continue uh, I win a pawn why not uh, this is just very nice and look at my bishop so it's actually it was actually you know pretty pretty uh, straightforward in a way and I had to be a little bit careful my opponent tries this nice trick and if I wasn't 100% awake I, I nearly played this one oh my goodness me if I had taken here after this suddenly 
uh, suddenly I'm probably still winning, but it starts to get quite scary. I can, well, maybe I'm losing here because this is a this is look at that bishop. It's, it's come out of it's come out of uh, its situation. So continuing the attack makes sense, and rook can't retake really it because my bishop will capture. And after this one, well, there's, there's no way to defend here. G7 is my main threat. Rook takes, queen takes, g7, checkmate. But if the queen, for example, takes here, there's two ways to checkmate, including uh, including this one. So we're now playing Snow Lord. I wonder if that's because he does a lot of... Uh... No, don't say it, Simon. Get yourself in trouble. Uh, probably because of the snow. Oh, we're getting another Dutch in. Um, hello, Sonia. Um... I actually played those games against uh, Guri uh, at 6 a.m. this morning in England. I, I woke up at 6 a.m. and I thought, ah, oh, I'm half, uh, kind of half asleep, but I kind of like, you know, when I wake up at that time, it's like, right, how are we going to wake up? Let's, let's, uh, I mean, I've got to be a bit careful here. I could just get checkmated. This move scares me actually quite greatly because this is, he's trying to, he's trying to kill me while I sleep. That's not very pleasant of him, is it? Okay, I don't like getting attacked. Okay, he hasn't... He hasn't... Okay, I'm going to try to... I thought this was more scary, to be honest. Where he could go here and sack on h5. If he's going to use Harry... Use um, use Harry properly. Um. Yeah, I was kind of waking up when I was playing Guri. But, you know, first thing in the morning, you can be quite fresh. And I was just playing on my phone. And it was like, yeah, it, it was nice to play some okay moves. Okay, so we got... We're going to try to break. We don't just want to be sitting here and allowing my opponent to have all the fun. So we're breaking. Now, do we have to watch out for this one? Well, it's possible we do, but I'm going to castle now and hope to keep all the files on my king side free of harm. Now, I don't know if I play c6 or knight c6. c6, I defend this square. But it's a bit passive. Knight c6 is much more active, but I allow him the d5 square. He's got a little bit of a, a jumble sale going on here of pieces. Uh, and he's rerouting back. So I think I'm going to continue developing my pieces because this knight gets in the way. He's closing it down. And f7 is generally a very nice square. Uh, in these structures but because he's underdeveloped I'm going to try to open up the center of the board um, if he was better developed I probably wouldn't play this move but I'm castled he might be trying to play g4 attack me so I, I, I want to open up the position try to try to create some uh, tactical chances which we're now going to do by taking here and simply bringing our rook to this open file um, I'm dreaming of um, this idea. We want to keep that area closed. So I've got to be very careful if he's going to start doing stuff over there. He's got bishop here coming. I didn't want to allow this. This is a clever idea. Clever, clever, clever. Knight here, bishop here, here. Okay, this is a bit annoying actually. This is, if I go, uh, okay, so we've got to be think about doing some. Okay, let's let's think about not let him hit him have all the fun. Um, and I want to do this before his bishop finds this square. I don't really want to do any calculating because that's not really my cup of tea. I'm too lazy to calculate, but this seems fairly sensible but I'm spending too much time to get a good position improve your pieces if you can't think I wanted to work out this move f4 here but I couldn't work it out okay too slow Williams Williams this is a chess game you have to move Okay, now no messing about, I'm just going to move now. Just play moves. And try. I've got a great position, I feel. My bishop has come to life as I 
was dreaming and we have a lot of ways to punt okay let's bring that one in first and come at him like a lunatic in we go mr errol flynn okay now i'm gonna oh bloody want to have it was i getting a little bit carried away with that move <laughs> uh okay oh why did you do that you got too you're too excitable simon now i i wanted to take care but i suddenly realized this bloody rook is on a stupid square uh which is most annoying so we're gonna have to do this and i lose my pride and joy and my king is weak so i think therefore i lose is what descartes said isn't it mr descartes i think therefore i lose boom no thinking boom don't think just play what is this nonsense i'm doing boom absolute nonsense <laughs> um oh he's trying to get them off he's trying to get him off boom a little bit scared i'm a little bit scared um i don't believe what i'm doing here oh he's going for the he's going for the he's going for a, a, a good move oh i had a lovely position lovely and i can't i think this is over now i think this is over well we've got to keep the queens on but uh unless i get outrageously lucky here there's not much i can do uh, let's give him a check why not try and remain as active as possibly can and that scares the hell out of me if i'm not getting mated here i would be absolutely shocked well played sir and some good chances there good chances there in that one there's a bit of a break now after round eight let's have a little look at that one because i got far too carried away that was that was like a little bit stupid because in this position i started to feel i had a great structure and i started to play badly but this looks it looks so good for me here there must be something nice in this position my piece is very near crashing in hmm well knight c4 was logical but this is this was this was quite frustrating i missed i somehow missed this idea knight g4 maybe you can take on f5 again and if i take yeah i don't know it's, it's not as easy this position what did i do last move okay so actually here why knight c5 was just a mistake if i just play knight c4 straight away this is probably winning for me because i don't have to worry about this pawn anymore and i'm starting to get some serious threats here for example knight takes b2 is it is the main idea you know knight takes b2 and i take here this is probably winning let's have a look at what our, our friend say our friend hate the computer hate you hate you but yeah okay i had chances i had chances in every game today but haven't put the ball in the back of the net and i'm just going to put it on analysis i don't know what the hell it's doing there okay we're, we're getting a little uh 70 percent let's 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 have a little look and have a look let's have a look and have a little look what am i even talking about anymore i think hopefully you know what i'm talking about oh hang on a minute so was i winning okay so i was winning massively here wow oh so i did have okay so here 
So I got it right, yeah? So if I just play, so after f4, this is, I think it was quite a close game up to here. Look, there's not much in it, right? There's not much in it. We can both play a little bit better, but I'm getting a very nice position. I'm like plus a pawn um, as we go along. And okay, I'm even getting exclamation marks for my moves, which is quite shocking. And like I said, it's so easy afterwards. Knight c4, boom. Or even knight g4. Yeah, why not knight g4? That knight, but either of these moves. This one, computer says no. Computer says no. Now this is my first fault. Surely this is good. Surely this is a good move, no? The computer says yes, it is a good move. It get no what? It says it's a mistake, but it still says it's winning. Go and turn yourself off, computer. Because I'm crashing through. But the real way to win this position would have been knight to g4. Simply gaining a tempo and after this one, just grabbing everything. Oh, well, such is life. And did I have any chances later on? I don't think so. Knight takes f5. It is a great move. I agree. And I should have sacrificed the exchange, which is what I was going to play. I'm not following my instincts. See, as soon as you start thinking in chess, you lose. I was going to play this move without thinking. I had to think about the position and I lost. Because I had to think and I played this move. My next chess course, chess book, is going to be titled Thinking is Losing. Don't think, play. Anyone anyone want to buy that book course out there? Anyone? Don't think, play. Thinking, thinking is for losers. Thinking is for losers. We have one no. One no. Ah, oh, Catherine says yes. Jay says, don't think, use your sub noggin. Sounds great. I like the idea of that. No thinking. Because if I actually do sack the exchange here, because of the placement of my pieces, which I kind of thought, I'm getting, am I getting any counterplay? The computer says no. Rook here. Queen, where are you going, Queenie? Queen G6. Okay, hang on a minute. This is looking like I could have some fun here. Knight takes B2. And if, if my opponent takes that one, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. And all of a sudden, this is not so clear. Let's have a look. Check. King B3. Yeah, yeah. You're going to last. You're not going to last there. Come in here. And my queen is coming. This looks bloody scary. This looks bloody scary for, for white. No? This looks incredibly scary. Um. Mm, interesting. Okay. Anyway, it didn't happen. I lost. <laughs> how, how many more? How much more punishment have I got to go here? <laughs> we can still get three points, and eight. I don't think I've ever got more than eight out of eleven. Have I ever got eight out of eleven? Can I get out eight out of eleven? Yes, I'm on five. If I can count correctly, six, seven, eight. So if I get eight out of eleven, I might even treat myself, break my rules. And treat myself to a beer only if I get three out of three and I think all of you guys and girls watching you should also treat yourselves to a beer or a wine or a whiskey if I get three out of three are you, are you in with me are you in are you in are you in maybe I got eight once I don't know possibly anyone in only if I get three out of three Otherwise, I'm going to be I'm going to punish myself with a cup of tea. As much as I like tea, it ain't that much fun compared to beer. Okay, we we have some takers. Emmy says yes. Marfa says woohoo. Southern Chris, you're in. Um, I'm focusing. Come on, let's do it together. Wheat smoothie. Cool, oh, you're one healthy chap, Emmy. Slaughter, yes. Ricardo, yes. N8, yes. Um, you drink so much tea that you can't say... Bri oh, no. That is a bad joke. British. Oh, no. Oh, no. British. British. British is better. Catherine, British is better. 
Um, Life on Empty has a good uh, New Year's resolution. This year, I might, I might, um, uh, I might uh, donate. Well, if you want to get something like this course up there is good. There's also, you know, this is my latest course that I brought out. No, that's that's a YouTube thing. That's not a course, is it? There's also I also created this website with some other people, uh, G Chess, which I'm very proud of. And to be honest, we we're, we're trying to get people to subscribe to it. It's like nine ninety nine a month, but it will improve your chess no end. You'll become as strong as me within two hours of paying with your credit card. No, I'm lying, but it is actually a really good website and I'm very proud of it. It's like a database, one of the strongest databases out there. So rather than donating, actually, if you want to subscribe, support me, then that's another way you can do it. Who's leading this rotten tournament anyway? Let's have a look. Who is leading? We got one person on eight out of eight. Let's have a look who this is. I know I've played this guy before. I've played this guy before. Sarawana. Um, Sarawana. Brothers with Caruana and sisters with marijuana. Um, and who else have we got? Groovy Kettle is still being pretty damn groovy. Look at this. You've got three Azerbaijanis coming through. Coming through there. Um, let's just scroll down and keep going. We're still going three out of three. Jabava is always lurking at the top there. Um, da -da -da -da. Thank you, Southern Chris, for buying the British Grand Prix. That's very kind of you, Southern Chris. Anyone? Well, you know, and I hope it helps your chess. Everything I do create is aimed at getting, making you a better chess player. Definitely. There's Snow Lord taking my damn place. But we can still get three out of three. Okay, we're in with another game. So let's see if we can get the British Grand Prix in. If he plays C5, stop doing that. If he plays C5, what are you doing? He's trying to tell me that E4 is not a very good move. It keeps taking it back. Who is the top Brit? Probably. Well, David House. Oh, yeah, we got it in. Okay, we're in. So this is my new opening and we, we're going to do stage one setup as you've seen which is knight f3 and castles and we've got this reverse dutch structure now this move you should attack the knight immediately and we've looked at this kind of thing before correct where we're aiming to play d4 now do i play it here i'm trying to remember my stuff because my memory is not that good is it this move and now d4 looks natural right and i've got my setup but my opponent's got some kind of setup as well now i want to try to bust him up right he's quick though this guy he is quick he's quick so what are we doing here what are we doing with the drunken sailor i want to play this for some reason how do i get my knight out i need to think of the correct setup here maybe even a3 is is not stupid okay let's play here try to play on both sides of the board and i want to take this way surprisingly enough to get my knight out i could have kept my pawn structure in touch there but as long as i don't allow bishop to get past this guy i'm quite happy and we're going remember this this idea of checkmate is not a good idea we want to play very boring positional chess and play against the bishop on b7 and eventually queen my b pawn which is a nice pawn to queen and I, why am i speaking so slowly because i don't know what i'm doing am i making this up okay let's push try to stop that knight coming in is this rook actually gonna affect me i want to limit his knight the one move i'm kind of like not worried about but annoyed about is this move which is going to break break through here okay now his pawn is on a light square meaning in some endings it could be uh, a target but f6 is the one move i'm like don't play f6 okay he 
bloody listening to me, aren't you, you bastard? Can we do some tactical shite with this one? Because he's starting. To, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and go here and try some tactical shite. Now he can do this one, but it's quite anti-positional. And then he can try to get his knight here because I, the long-term positional plan is if I keep this knight here and keep that one locked in, it's happy days. Sunday, Monday, happy days. So that's the positional. Uh, and if he goes e5, well, he's he's calculating that now. I'm not even going to bother working that out. I don't know if it's good or bad. Okay, so now some calculation. Takes, 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 rook e1, rook c4, rook takes, rook b6. I'm either a genius or completely crap. Or maybe a little bit of both. Oh, he's got rook c4 there. It looks so good. It looks so good. Bishop here, rook c4, rook e1, takes check, bishop takes here. What's this like? I don't know if this is the correct way of playing. And now here. And actually I can do it this way. Is the tactical idea. Is he going to win this pawn? Hmm. He's very quick, very quick. Um, and I don't want to allow him to win that pawn because then I have no winning chances. And this one is annoying. So I'm gonna try and stop that one from occurring and use Ari the A-pawn to bring home the bacon, possibly. Okay, come on. But I, I don't know how I'm going to get him to move to A7. So I might have to get my king into the game in, in this position. Don't fall for some dirty trick, as in walking to this rook. That would be most annoying. And we can try to play on both sides of the board I have this hold over on this this area and I've now got Ari Ari and Harry Ari and Harry he's gonna try to like be naughty to my king and we don't want to allow that we don't want to allow his king to become active and we want to kick his pieces away ideally to inferior squares so my thinking is to slowly but surely get myself in the right position to push this pawn uh, as we're doing now. The ending, if he takes here, I'm thinking is winning because his king is so far away from Hario. Uh, and my next idea, we can bring the king up stuff like this so I don't know which square is better maybe this one. Oh my god he could have taken my pawn what am I doing I don't even see that okay let's move quicker I don't need to think let's just move thinking is for idiots what am I doing this this whole new book thinking is for it thinking is for idiots don't think just play blooming hell Simon you know your own rules check don't even think about it. Just play a move. Thinking is for idiots. Just play. Relax, man. Just play some moves. It's chess after all. Take all his pawns. Queen all your pawns. Turn Harry into Harry Harriet. The queen. The queen of the pawns. Don't lose some time. Come on, Harriet push yourself can we do that tactics do the tactics work I think they do work I feel that sometimes we understand this game 
just don't allow any perpetuals which my opponent cannot get here because my king is steadily coming the correct way and I'm gonna take every single piece that I can because that's the kind of guy I am it's nearly stalemate don't allow that if I take that pawn that would have been stalemate oh my words how bad would that be but we're not gonna fall for that trick and I might even get a rook with checkmate boom we're getting two more two more games nearer a beer two more games thank you for the little cheer there pilot um so that's what you see it's quite it's quite a good opening right the opening it's more positionally minded but it just gives you that nice little edge nice little center and we're often relying on our e-pawn there to do the job so it's all good two more and we can all celebrate with a cheeky a cheeky bit just need to get two out of two i was going to withdraw we're actually on six points but we need to get two out of two anything apart from two out of two it's cups of tea for me cups of, cups of tea don't think don't think is the new motto do not think do not think thinking is bad thinking is thinking is for idiots this is totally not cool so i think um i think i don't think and then i say i think around here i'm certainly better the only thing you can try to do is this break which he did play but the issue that my opponent has is that he's got a lot of problems tactically with this pawn and he tries to defend everything but he falls to this idea and the tactic that i was trying to work out very quickly um this one i'm not so sure he, he's in a bit of trouble but i was trying to work out what would happen if i do this now he can't save the knight so i thought he should play here then i can take with this one but i wanted to take here let's just see what my calculations like and then if the king moves i wanted to play rook here and then when he took here i wanted to take here and we get an ending which gives me some good winning chances i'm pawn up uh, in the position i don't know if it's a win I, i'm not sure but it's quite a nice opening this having a lot of fun with it so far uh and it's on sale and well you can pick up the course at 50 percent off it's my latest course along with richard palliser at that link there and i'm having a lot of fun with it and it, obviously it only works against the Sicilian it's a little line you can play very easy to play very easy to remember let's have a look at scores so tournament scores on the doors how many games have we I think we only got two left right so okay well we're in with another one so we need two out of two to celebrate with a beer and what's going to be more rewarding than taking down a strong grandmaster with the Dutch I'm getting loads of Dutches in this is why I'm scoring so much well I'm not scoring that much I've got to win this game and then the next one and we celebrate with a beer otherwise it's failure town so I'm gonna uh, just continue in normal fashion I, I, I often play this to like probe you know a little nibble the nibble remember the nibbles remember the nibbles we're nibbling nibble 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 probably want to this is the normal plan get the bishop on this diagonal get the knight there play play this kind of idea we don't even have to play d6 and e5 in these positions because we've got a little bit of energy on on the queen side already hello captain bunray hope you're doing all right mate hope you're doing well sir well six out of nine is actually quite a disappointing score captain bunray i i, I should I think it's fair to say be on a lot more but um I've thrown away so many good positions Captain Bunratty I was a piece up against Heston and ending allowed him to queen a pawn I mean the next game oh my words Captain Bunratty it's been painful 
How are you doing, Jerry? Anyway, are you right, mate? It's good that life is hopefully getting back to normal after this uh, trials and tribulations of, of recent years. Okay, now I don't know. I don't know about this mood. Should, should I be playing this, or I mean, should I be playing d6 or d5 in these positions? This is the next question. Now, this is the normal way I play the position, trying to play for for e5. But I, I'm not even sure it's entirely correct here. But I'm going to stick to what I, what I normally do, and that that is go for this structure, as you've seen me play uh, already in in previous games today. And I'm probably equal now. It's probably equal. I, I'm I'm fully recovered. Cats in bum right here. COVID ain't gonna COVID ain't gonna kick my ass. It was actually very. I was very lucky. It was it was very mild for me. I was I was a little bit tired. We don't want to fall for this trick. So if we go here, we will fall for that trick. So I was I was I was I was lucky basically. Um. Uh, glad, glad to hear you're doing well, well also, sir, as always. So I feel I might even be a bit better now, but that could just me being very optimistic. And I'm a, I, I, okay. Let's let's go back to being equal. We'll, we'll keep equality. And I'm actually playing someone who might be as slow as me so far, which is the most. Which is the most. <laughs> that's the best thing. I'm actually playing someone who is moving nearly as slow as me. Now, again, do we go for my traditional e5? Now, knight c6, will he take it? I don't think he will because his king side, I can go for an attack. Now, I'm also thinking about f4. This is why I'm not committing that pawn as of yet. He wants to play this move. Okay, so I think now it must be time to play the standard idea so that I have a good square for my knight. If he brings his knight here, I will try to swap that one off. We're trying to play against the bishop. So let's bring this guy into the middle. And we have this traditional ending position, which uh, should be okay. Now, we do also have other options, but I'm going to go for this ending uh, again. Now, I don't want to allow his queen to e5. I've fallen for this idea before, so. But then I don't really want to, I want to, I want to win this pawn. So, but if I allow his queen here, I'm going to get very tied up. So I think I need to play this move, even though I don't really want to, because when he plays a3, he fixes his pawns on the color squares where I can't attack him with my bishop, which is not what I want. As you you've seen, every good Russian schoolboy knows knows that is the correct thing to do. And my pawns can be quite weak in certain situations here, but I I don't think I I'm also don't think I'm worse here. I'm very solid, so I'm not worried at all. But we, we want to win because we're only going to get a beer if we win, right? We're not rewarding ourselves with a beer unless we get two out of two. So he's going for elimination in the nation. And I'm worried about this pawn somehow, you know. But okay. Now let's stop bishop d1. Was that correct? Maybe. And we need to try and get our, our, our rook into the game here. Can he force a draw if he wants to with this? Well, I'm glad he didn't play that. Um, because I'm not sure how I could have continued there. And I need to get my rook in the game. So he's trying to, he's trying to, obviously swaps these, these ones off. If I can get my rook, then this is a real opportunity to, to come around here. Now I don't want to have a draw, but let's just see what he's going to play here. Cause I, I, I also don't think he will play for a draw. 
but how on earth do, does my rook ever uh, find its way around here? Now this, I need to get this rook in. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some risky moves now to have chances. This is king pawn ending. Oh shit, I missed that one, didn't I? Flack. Yeah, bastard. Missed that one. I thought I had chances to win this, but that move was unpleasant. Okay, so he's taking that pawn. <coughs> Uh, I can't win this one, can I? To sit and try and defend, which is not so enjoyable. Oh God, Williams, lucky you had that one to keep some hope alive, but Rook here and it's not looking very alive anymore. Both my pawns drop, check. Let's try it from mate, you never know. <laughs> and he played very well, my opponent here. I just missed that one move in the rook ending, which uh, has given me all these problems. And yeah, this is quite an easy win for him. We'll play it, we'll play it out. Uh, but no beer for me. Oh, I'm so tempted to have a beer anyway. <laughs> we'll play it out. Um, why not? And we've got to get rid of our rook here and it's stalemate, but he knows this. He's a Russian. The Russians, Russians, they, they learn these kind of positions when they're, when they're like two years old. And he's got a number of ways to win here, including including something like this. <laughs> I'm hoping for a stale matrix, because there are some stale matrix <coughs> in this ending, but we're not gonna get them. And uh, oh, King G8 might have actually been some chance. So well played to my opponent. Um, and uh, let's just have a look at that because I, I was doing fine but we, at this level you, you can't afford to make a mistake and uh, there was this one error at the end of the game which basically uh, lost the game so we might as well play the last game now we'll see if we can get seven I think we'll try some fun gambit idea and uh, analysis uh, okay so this ending was very tough but my big mistake, and around here, yeah, of course it's equal. Um, intrigued to know earlier on. But my big mistake was, let's have a look at it. Uh, I think this is all right, but I missed this move. I thought for some reason my rook can get in, but he's looking at this again. His king is so central. It's, it's, it's actually a little bit uncomfortable, this for me. So maybe, you know, playing this b6 wasn't necessary. But I'm trying to fi find, okay, it says it's an okay move, but I, I probably should just not, maybe I shouldn't even swap, the, swap these guys off. And this is a little bit uncomfortable. Probably drawing this ending as well. But it's not easy to draw. So the computer gives c5. Okay, that's very interesting. And if rook takes, we can come here and, and create some, uh, some. Okay, we're into the last game. I, I spent a lot of time. So let's enjoy the last game. We're going to play some stupid gambit. And or we're just going to go for a crush. I don't know. What are we going to go for? Let's play some normal moves. Seven points is still okay. 
Um, and I'm going to go here and give, call it the Gary Gambit. Call it the Gary Gambit. We don't want our pawn. Pawn, give yourself away. And when you play a move like that, you've got to sing it in tune to Pink Floyd, right? Pawn, give yourself away. Uh, off, what, what one was that? Pink Floyd song. Of course I know the answer. Off the wall, it was, which, which song was it? Pawn, just give yourself away. Um, right, anyway, uh, back to this one. We've got l loads of compensation for our pawn. Another brick in the wall, of course it is. <coughs> Quite an interesting position, actually. I mean, I don't know if this is completely stupid because, you know, his king's there. There is a little bit of danger that he's going to checkmate me. But we live with these things. There's actually quite a lot of danger. So well, hang on a minute, what am I? I'm, a, I'm basically a pawn down and getting checkmated. Looking good, Simon. Looking good. And I've oh we stopped it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try to finish ourselves on G6. That sounded quite dubious, didn't it? Okay. Let's get one more piece out. Don't finish yourself yet. We need a little bit more firepower. And we like that bishop because it's a defender and attacker. And we're just now surely. Oh my god. Oh my god. There must have been. Knight takes e4 there would have been a killer, right? I'm not even paying attention to that one. Godness me. Okay, let's do it, yeah. Yeah, B2. I didn't realise how weak B2 was. All he needed to do was unleash that one. And it would have been game over. But this is still a little bit scary. But come on. Here comes the Gary Gambit. We're doing this for you, Gary. Gary, my friend. And at least we have a threat or two. Okay, well that's my threats over. Hmm. all right we're, 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 we're trying to what are we doing next well, I'd love to get this in but I can't allow the Queens to come off so can I bring this one in first okay you know he's going here I think we've got to keep throwing them towards his king and in we come he has to be a little bit careful now right he has to be a little bit careful in the hood because I have some ideas I'm just trying to work out what those ideas are anyone see my ideas must be some ideas here what are my ideas takes bishop takes check king here zero ideas Oh, it has to be this move, right? We have to break his coordination as much as we... Well, we have to try. Give myself this one. And... What next, though? This is what I was trying to work out. Because here, he's defending. And this is a very passive move. Is this king kind of, kind of safe here? Is it? doesn't but doesn't surely that king doesn't it shouldn't be safe should it but I, I I'm running out of pieces to attack with I've seemed to have lost them all of or sacrificed them all so can I give this one get this one in no I need that one I need you my friend should we give a little check Pat's the sees a check he's trying to run but he was actually maybe quite safe there weird position right I am I'm gonna open this one though which that's that bishop scares me a little bit okay now this is such a weird position he wants to go bishop here so so strange um, I'm losing track of where the pieces are his, his king has like remained ridiculously safe yeah 
I mean, this is so slow, I can't believe it, but. <sighs> Still, his king is always going to be open. I I've got to look on the plus side, right? Oh, don't swap them off. You're having a draft. You ain't getting the queens off, mate. Dream on. Dream on, e Iano. You dream the impossible dream. Good to know I have loads of time. Dream the impossible dream. He's still desperately trying to get them off. Come on, Harry. Come on, my little soldier. Make me proud, mate. Make me proud. You didn't make me proud, did you, Harry? What have you done, Harry? What have you done? What have you done to my position, Harry? You're a disgrace, Harry. You're a bloody disgrace. Getting me into some stinky ending, which I'm probably winning in my wildest dreams. What is this ending like? Come on, my friend. Come on, Kingy. You can weave your magic. Up you come. Up you come, Kingy boy. Don't back down now. Oh, he's got check. Mm, okay. We all know how quick I am. The only one going to win this is coming the other way. So that way we come. Oh, shit. Okay. Bye, Harry. You tried and you failed, Harry. You did your best. And it just wasn't up to scratch, was it, my friend? What is this stupid ending? What is this? What is this? Is this good? Is this actually good for me? Is this good for me? How on earth could this be good for me? How on earth could this be good for me? It's a, it's, it was always winning. It was always, it's a smooth game, nice and easy. Grinding away, little small advantage. You press, you find a little weakness in their position, you gang up on it and you know, you keep that pressure up and they, uh, and you get there in the end. smooth as sandpaper that one but anyway a win is a win well I did say I was only gonna have a beer if I get to eight points and I, I, I managed to get seven points let's just find out who's gonna win this tournament um, it was fun to fun to stream again so thank you for uh, coming over to the show we'll try to do it a little bit more and obviously if you want to support me then um, Okay, where's Blair, by the way? Have you got Blair's, uh, where is Blair's handle, Jerry? Jerry, could you post Blair's handle so we can give him a little raid? So I can never find it. Is it Blair, it's Blair Chess, isn't it? That's, it's easy. I think it's just Blair Chess. So um, I don't know who's gonna win the tournament. I could wait around and see, but I can't be asked. Um, <laughs> thank you all uh, for coming along, it's been great. Uh, nice to see you all. Nice to see you, Catherine. Nice to see you, Jerry. Nice to see you, Harry in space. Bricktop. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Jen's chess. Uh, just going through the names now. Nice to be back. Um, nice to see everyone else. Volt, Melkor, Dromino, Hairdo. Thank you very much. Uh, and it's been fun. Maybe I missed some great opportunities there to, to get a much better score. Um, but uh it's respectable now let's go and see how my good friend is getting on blair who's a very good blitz player right and he's playing in, in this crypto thing uh i, I think he's still playing in it so we'll, we'll go and see how he's doing it's quick and fast and remember check out my course my latest chessable course um here we go let me just put it in there if you want to support me there you go and, and just buy everything I've done because it's blooming quality. 
simples. Oh, we can see actually just on the score group before I do go. Oh, too late. What's happening there? On the score group, uh, David Howe did come 15th. So well done, David. Actually, in the end, he, he, he snuck his way back in. So congratulations to David who won it last time uh, and this time came 15th. So well done, David. One day it will be it will be my day, but not today. See you later. I'll probably have a beer now. Fuck it.